So Judaism is all about contradictions. It's very paradoxical. And that's what people find hard to understand. How could it be? It doesn't make sense in that. For us, it's very hard to, it's like quantum physics, right? You know, Albert Einstein, he didn't like quantum physics. And he called it a Talmudical theory because it seemed to be paradoxical. Quantum physics seemed to be paradoxical where you can have particles being you know, at two places at once or somehow communicating or being connected across space-time faster than the speed of light. It's very paradoxical. So Albert Einstein called it a Talmudical theory. The idea is that it's, it's, it's inherently self-contradictory and seems to not make sense. And yet it does make sense, right? Quantum physics is, is very real and we can already build quantum computers and quantum entanglement has been proven. And all these paradoxical realities, wave-particle duality, they are somehow paradoxically true. So, and the Talmud is exactly that, right? that it has all these contradictions and it's all over. By, by the way, the Talmud itself says, why is it called the Bavli? Why is it called the Talmud Bavli? Not because it's Babylonian, because Babylon didn't even exist at that point. It was in the Persian Empire. It's called the Bavli because it's Mebulbal, essentially, that it's confused and it's all over the place and it's contradictory and it's hard to crack and understand and it's in, so intertwined and so convoluted that it's really hard to grasp what's going on.